Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Steel Series Apex Pro. This is a premium gaming keyboard, and this is a video to talk to you about the five things that I like about this keyboard, plus a couple of things that I don't. Now, I have done a more in depth video, if you're interested in seeing that, check it out in the description or on my channel. And I wanted to talk to you about the various th aspects of this keyboard that are interesting. The first of which is the programmable OLED screen, which you can use to customize the keyboard in a number of different ways. Now, you can firstly use it to either have the Steel Series logo on there, or you can craft your own if you're any good at drawing, which I am not. You can also upload black and white images to it and have those appear on it, but it's num useful for a number of other different reasons. It is, however, oddly placed. Now when I looked on Amazon I saw a reviewer saying that they thought it was in a bad position, and I'm glad because they agree with me. When you're sitting back and playing games you cannot really see the screen, you have to sort of bend over to look at the front of it, so kind of a low light there. However. It does have a number of different functionality options that I really like. You can pull in information from Spotify to let you know what track's playing. You can also pair it up with a number of different apps, and that is another highlight to this keyboard, is all the app customization you can do within the software. First of which is to pull it in with Discord so you get to know when people are talking, who's talking, and it will also let you know when you're switching and moving between different channels. And which channel you're in and you can see that and you can customize the little icons that appear on there as well so you can customize this down to a number of different levels steel series software is also very good lets you customize in loads of different ways not just the screen but also the keyboard backlighting and you can customize that to respond to various things for example what's happening in discord 2 and that is another definite highlight to this keyboard is the programmability and flexibility of it and the customization options the next highlight for me is the RGB lighting. Now this is a very good well lit keyboard, you can see the raised keycaps, you get a very nice bit of light bleed, it's nice and bright, and you might have seen from the snippet at the beginning just how bright it is and how colourful it can be. You can also set base colours and it has a really nice reactive scheme on it that reacts to key presses and you can set up all sorts of different profiles and you can program it on a key by key basis as well. You can set up different colors on different keys. For example, you can have a base color and then have WASD lit up in a different color. You can set that to then have reactions on top of it. You can do all sorts. It's really customizable and it looks really nice. The next point is definitely comfort. I really found the Steel Series Apex Pro to be incredibly comfortable. The key presses are loud. It is a mechanical gaming keyboard after all. However, the keycaps are very soft, the wrist rest is incredibly soft and it is very well built on a very sturdy aluminium frame. The next point is the customization of the actuation levels. You can do this and you can see you can do it on the main area of the keyboard, only that key area, but you can customize the actuation level on a per key basis. So here you can see set a default, I'm trying to demonstrate what it's like, that you need to press the key most of the way down to hear the click and then get the key to respond. But you can tweak that on an individual level and set the actuation point to your preference. So for example, if you set it to 10, you require an even harder press on those keys for it to register. This makes the keyboard very tactile and perhaps responding the way you might like it in Windows rather than gaming. You can go completely the other way and make it so you only need a light feather touch basically. And just demonstrate that by taking it all the way down to 1. And once you've done that, you can then basically just stroke the key. You can touch it really gently, you don't need to push it all the way down, you don't even need to hear the clicks. This customization allows you to customize that all across the board and of course you can do it on a key by key basis in the same way you can the illumination. Only on the main section of the keyboard, but you could even perhaps customize the keys you've got in a different color to only have that actuation and you can set different profiles as well. All in all, this is a really good keyboard with plenty of customization and programmability options and a really spiffing design, and it looks fantastic on the desk too. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos. 
as well as taking a look in the description for the links and other information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this and have a great life.